Welcome back dear friend to this new video tutorial. I'll show you how I made this automaton inspired by my one of my favorite uh, fantasy sagas, the J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. This is absolutely the most complex job I have ever done. It took me weeks of work uh, between the design of the prototype and the creation of the final piece. In addition to the complexity of the mechanism, there are also a lot of pieces and they all have to be precise. So I will never have been able to finish it in such a short time without using a laser cutter machine. And for this I thank Xtool for giving me the opportunity to try Xtool T1 Pro. A truly formidable tool that has been able to make itself truly useful and efficient for my expectation. I had the opportunity to try the 10W X2 D1 Pro and the 40W, which I used to make this video and they also send me the air support which is very useful to avoid burns on the wool surface and to control the flame. In the box I received there is everything needed to immediately start working with this tool and the assembly of the machinery was very simple. I made the 5 horses with a 6mm thick fir wood that the laser cut in less than an hour. In addition, X2 offers a free laser cutting program that is really easy to use to cut and engrave different materials. I also made the horse's leg in a short time and I used the 3mm plywood. Assembling the horses was the longest part, because there are so many pieces. I used PVA glue and helped myself with the bamboo skewers and carpenter's tape. Once all the pieces were assembled and the glue had become dry, I started sanding some parts to make the shapes softer.
This is the prototype that I made entirely by hand without using a laser cut. I built it a year before making this video. I already had in mind to make 5 horsemen galloping alongside, but doing it by hand I found many technical difficulties, which I solved with the, the use of laser cut. I made the base and the mechanism with the 12mm thick fear wood. I could have always made it by laser cut, but I want to maintain a stylistic standard in my works. The connection system of the mechanism to the horse is made of harmonic steel. It is rather hard to bend, but its hardness and elasticity is perfect for this purpose. If I had made it in iron wire, it would have bent during the movement, blocking all the mechanism. This was another very long part that took me several hours of work. In total I made 49 pieces of spring steel for the horses and 5 for the riders. To this wooden plug I added some strips of paper to the ends to increase the thickness and increase the resistance of the mechanism. Obviously this made the assembly more difficult. The horses are supported by two bamboo skewers, which make the support resistant but elastic, so as to give a more realistic movement effect.
This work was very complex, but the realization was really fun and satisfying in the end. I colored everything uh, being careful not to put the color in the movement area, otherwise this could block the mechanism. I used water washable acrylic paint for coloring. And now it's time to create the knight. For the riders I used 12mm thick fir wood, which the 40 watt laser cut easily and quickly in one pass. If you are interested in purchasing an X2 product, you will find a direct link to their site in the video description. And with the purchase you can help me support this channel at no additional cost. Adjusting the movement of the rider's arms was very complex and it forced me to change the binding system many times and I had to redo or modify some pieces several times.
With the felt cloth I made the clothes and the clocks of the knights. Finally, with synthetic wool, I made the beard and the hair of the knight. Thanks for watching this video, and I want to thank Xtool again for letting me try these products. I invite you to subscribe to my channel for new projects and to write in the comments what you think about this work.